All right, my friends, let's take another look at picking up and knitting on the Temple of Flora. For this demonstration, I actually have a swatch that closely resembles uh, the second of the two wings that you'll work on. Um, you'll see here we have the straight inside edge, uh, the neck edge, and out here we have the growing outer edge of the piece. Down here on a piece of scrap yarn, we have stitches that theoretically would be worked on um, for the, uh, the front trim on the piece. But we're going to focus on here. We're going to focus on picking up and knitting into this straight edge. Now, there are a lot of things here that are potentially challenging. We have a textured fabric. We have a, uh, two variegated yarns. Um, and uh, we have an edge that is not composed of slip stitches, which means that from time to time it can be challenging. Also, it's a pretty long pickup, um, which means that it can be a little daunting to think, well, how am I supposed to make sure that I get um, you know, 60 to 64 stitches across a long stretch and make sure they're all even? Well, one of the things that I like to do in a situation like this is rather than considering the whole length uh, that we need to do, I take a look at the total number of stitches and I try to find a way to um, keep track bit by bit as I go along the piece. So uh, in this case, for example, we need approximately 60 stitches. I know it's it's slightly more than 60, but we'll work with simple numbers here to get ourselves started. Um, about 60 stitches, and in each repeat of our pattern, we have 20 rows. And when we look at the number of stitches that we need and how many repeats we have, it, what we realize is that for each repeat, so rather than thinking of the whole long edge, we're going to think of each repeat, I need to get about 10 stitches. And since I need a few more than that, what I do as I go along, well, I fudge it. Every so often I'll pick up and knit an extra stitch to make sure that by the end I have everything I need, but it makes it so much easier to think of 10 stitches per, per repeat as opposed to a whole long edge and 60 plus stitches evenly picked up in there. So that's one thing I like to do is, is take that long length and break it up, plan ahead and break it up into smaller segments that are easier for me to keep track of. Now, here is our uh, scrap yarn, no, excuse me, not scrap yarn, our working yarn, and we're going to do pick up and knit. And the other question, of course, is, well, where? Where on earth do we want to pick up and knit? Well, again, for this piece, I like picking up through a single strand at the edge of the fabric. And what does that look like? Well, you go toward to my the extreme of my salvage and look for a strand that looks like it could be easily lifted out of the fabric. And there's one. Um, for that matter, there's one right next to it. That's a possibility. Um, in garter passages like this, well, this bump here, that is a loop. That could also be something that's picked up. Uh, just as easily. And so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for easily selected, easily worked into strands right at the selvage of the piece. Because again, for this particular piece, we just want to pick up and knit into a single strand. And our first repeat begins here and ends here. And that's 20 rows, and we want to do uh, 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 10 stitches into that space. And so here we go. Um, first place that I can see that there is a clear loop is right there at the very beginning. That makes me happy, because if you can find something as close to the beginning of the fabric as possible, it tends to give you a very a much neater result. There, we've started. That's our first one. I will try to keep my fingers out of the way. And pardon the condition of my fingernails, by the way, I beg you, because uh, I have started working in the garden, and so, uh, you know, no manicures at the moment. So there's one. And then we'll go into this one. There's two. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, I think we can do that. You might see yourself establishing a pattern. I picked up into a garter bump and then an easily accessible stockinette loop. So let's do that again. A garter bump and a stockinette loop. 
and a garter bump, and a stockinette loop, and you might notice I'm being a little bit wiggy in how I pick this up. You know, I pick it up, I pull it out, I shove the needle in there. It's whatever gets it pulled out so that I can work into it. So two, four, six, good. Uh, and then there's a bump. And there's a loop. And then a bump. And then, let's see, da -da, another loop. Is that a good one? Looks like it. There. Let's see. Eh, we'll go this far. Now you'll notice I'm making some decisions here. Why is that? Because there's no one right answer. Two, four, six, eight, ten. What I do know now is that here in this piece, in this, you know, my target goal for during, for this repeat was that I would get ten stitches, and I got ten stitches. And of course, if I did that for all of those, I would wind up with 60. But because, as we did point out, you know, I want 62, I think it is in the pattern. Um, well, if this was one of the spaces where I wanted to pick up one more, would, no, no trick to it, just look for a convenient extra loop. I, I could decide to do that right here, as a matter of fact. Okay, there's one of my extras that's been done. Or you know, somewhere in here, um, rather than picking up you know, uh, a bump and then a stockinette loop, pick up a bump and then two stockinette loops. It's okay. The only thing that I recommend is that anything extra, you spread it out as evenly across your length as you like. Some people sit and plan that, some people wing it. Um, either way, uh, you can see that uh, it's possible even in a wacko selvage like this to develop a bit of a rhythm uh, if, you, if you stop and pay attention to what you're doing. Hope that helps clear up um, how this works, not just on this piece, but I hope it'll help you build confidence in picking up and knitting into all kinds of weird selvages that you may encounter in the future. Thanks for being part of the Knit Along. See you in the next one.